Welcome my friend, Seven Gray here. I hope you're having a fantastic day out there sitting in front of your computer, surfing through all the YouTube videos. I hope this one makes you smile just a little bit. I have a new camera. Today I'm gonna to go through a setup. I'm shooting this video with a GoPro Session 5, not the greatest audio and not the necessarily the greatest video quality but this new camera should be a significant upgrade to that. This camera is the Canon EOS M6. It's a mirrorless camera, SLR, so it has separate uh, lenses that you can use with it. Here's the lens that comes with the kit and the camera body. To go along with the camera, I purchased an external microphone. This microphone has one of those fancy dead cat things, that, the big furry kind of thing, so I'm going to try to attach that to the side of the camera. So that's what you're gonna to get to see today is unboxing of these two items and how I set this up. Gonna open this up here, see what's inside. Bunch of instructions. This looks like the camera in the bubble wrap. I chose the silver, they have two different colors. And this is the silver, has a screen on the back very similar to my previous camera, the G7X with the flip up screen and can flip down so you can view it from the bottom as well. Selfie mode. Looks pretty nice. It's about the same size as my G7X that I had before. Feels slightly heavier and this one has a shoe on the top so I can attach um, a flash mount or any other attachments that I want. I have no idea what this is. It might be a little plastic battery cap. And here is the lens. This is quite a bit smaller than other SLR lenses that I've owned in the past. Alright, put this on. You just screw this off here. And Let's see, take this off. Take this off. I think this is the back side. Little dots, white dot, white dot. Line them up and screw it on. There you go. Fairly compact size. I like it. And it comes with a camera strap. These are the items that you get in the package, the lens, the body, and the camera strap, and I think there is a battery around here somewhere. And here is the battery that goes with it, and a battery charger. There's a little flip out power cord here. There's a door here on the bottom, you just click up like this, open it. Check the connectors, looks like it goes in this way. And then just need a memory card. It's a memory card from my previous camera. Let's turn it on. Power switch is over here. I'm at the basic startup screen. It's asking for date and time. Okay, my date and time is set up now. I've gotten to the next screen. I see a message on this screen. To fully use the camera, push and hold the switch in the triangle direction and rotate to unlock. All right, it appears that they're talking about this switch here on the front that has a triangle on it that you have to push it in and then rotate it. That appears to be the telephoto function, the zoom. I've installed a different uh, memory card in the camera, turning it on now, and it appears to be working. So now I just need to add the microphone. This is the microphone that's recommended for this particular camera. This is a Rode microphone. This is my first time to ever use an external microphone with a camera. This is what you have inside the box. This is pretty funny looking. Just makes me want to 
sort of pet it and inside is the microphone so microphone goes in here like that I'm gonna take this off for now so I can mount it amazing what you can learn on YouTube I went and looked on how to mount a Rode microphone on this particular camera so the tip is to take some velcro and attach it to the side with sort of a zip tie kind of thing so I'm going to cut out two pieces, uh, two little squares of Velcro, one for each side, and then figure out how to mount this on the side. Okay, so now I have two little squares of Velcro cut out, one for each side, and I have to adhere one to the camera, and then one to the zip tie, I think. So I have to be careful not to block this little door here, so it's got to fit just right in this little area. These are the zip ties that I have. So it's a little, little piece here. I'm going to put all of these in my description where I bought these. One of the tips on YouTube was to take some rubber bands and wrap it around the microphone. So I'm just going to take some rubber bands, wrap it around right here. I guess that's a good spot. So my tip is to go, I think it's to go upward with the zip tie instead of down. So it's attached this way. Doesn't seem super secure but I'll just have to watch and see how it does over the next few days. And attach the muff. So my concern is, is this going to interfere with the lens here, being so close? We'll just have to see. Now I'm going to run the little connector cable. Not sure if there's a right side and wrong side on this. I did read in the reviews that they recommended replacing this cable, and I can see now why. It just sort of is floating in the way out here. Not sure what I'm going to do about that. Maybe see how much it uh, bothers me in the future. Okay, turning on the camera now. And it looks like it does not block the camera. It is pointing downward though. I'm not sure if I like that. I'll play with this configuration for a couple of days. Shoot some video. See how it turns out. That's all I have for this episode. Thank you for watching. Save in the moment. See you next episode.